Hi Virgo. I'm so sorry. I skipped you guys. I feel terrible. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do your reading right now. I need to fix this camera. I'm going to do your reading right now. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it right now. Um, I need to turn my light on. Whoops. Is that, yeah. Whoa, that's not what I was trying to do, guys. Dang it. Okay, I see? It's amazing what lighting can do. Now you guys can actually see me. Okay, so I am going to do your reading right now, Virgo. Um, I'm so sorry that I skipped you. It's nothing personal. For some reason, I was thinking I did yours when I did the first um, batch of readings when I did, you know, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Um, Cause you come right after uh, Leo. So I, I, I thought I, I had done yours with the first batch. Um, so I'm gonna do it right now. I actually recorded Sagittarius's, Aquarius and Pisces um, when I did Capricorns and Scorpios and Libras. But as we know, it is Mercury retrograde. And so they all got deleted. <laughs> they all got deleted. So, um, you know, the ones that are uploaded are the ones that are uploaded and the rest got deleted somehow. And I don't know how, and it's funny. I was, I was watching another tarot reader who I absolutely love. She goes by Baba Jolie and she said something about backing up your files because you're going to lose some important stuff. And I didn't pay attention and I should have, and I should have listened and you know, so she's a scarily accurate tarot reader. You guys should check her out. Um, so that happened. And so lesson learned. Um, other than that, everything energy has been flowing beautifully, smooth. Um, we're going to do things a little bit different today. So I'm going to pull two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy. We're going to do an advice from spirits. Then we're going to move on to um, messages of love from your person. I will pull a numerology card, um, a getting into the vortex card. Um, I love this. Love it. Uh, it's by um, Abraham Hicks. Um, I, Abraham, Esther, and Jerry Hicks, getting into the vortex. Those of you who have, fall, have followed me for a long time know that I love Abraham Hicks. You should check out their videos, Abraham, Esther, Jerry Hicks, um, Esther channels for a, a being, I guess, named Abraham. And she connected with Abraham through meditation and these messages come through, um, for the collective. And I love her. I love her positivity. So you should check her out, check them out, Esther, Jerry, Abraham, but this is a specifically a relationship deck, which is, you know, I'm a love reader, so that's what we focus on. Um, I have a new, new numerology deck, so we're going to use that. And then I also have this beautiful deck that I got from an amazing friend of mine, Sheila McNeil. I love you, Sheila, if you're watching this. Um, she sent me this beautiful deck for my birthday, Voices of the Souls Oracle. And I'm obsessed. All right, so let's dive in. Let's dive in. Um, I only used um, my standard tarot deck and the messages of love and the vortex cards for Libra and Capricorn and Scorpio, but it's it was 404 um, on my clock. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to use the other decks for your reading Virgo because I skipped you guys. I feel like absolute dog poop for doing that. Is there stuff on the floor over there? Just yeah it's toys whatever all right so if you see any smoke i do have incense burning so i need to turn on this fan i'm sweating hold on one second all right let's dive in i need two cards for virgo's energy two cards for their person and a advice card from spirit please i've already cleansed my space with incense if you see smoke that's what it is it's my opium incense you can see it. As I said that, it starts wafting towards me. Um, and I cleansed my energy. So let's dive right in. Okay, 
Let's go. I will only be taking the cards that fly out. So if nothing flies out, I guess you guys don't get a reading, huh? Ooh. Say la vie. There it is. This is life, huh? Whoops. And I'm not turning over the cards because I don't want... If the cards flip over like this, I don't take them. Just I only take them if they fly out. Um, and I'm not. I'm leaving the cards flipped over so that me seeing them doesn't influence the reading in any way. Just a new way of me reading, which gives scarily accurate results. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages and. This is Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Okay, guys, I need to know about Virgo's person. The frick? Your person is being very shy. They do not want you to know about their energy. Like, literally, nothing's coming out for your person's energy. Look, I just keep shuffling and shuffling. All right, they gave me two cards. They're both in reverse. These ones came out in reverse. This. Damn it, Virgo. Why you guys? Wow, this is on the floor. It says unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Um, it's from a Messages of Love Oracle deck. I don't know why it was sitting on the floor or what it... But it, it's going to be, it's going to pertain to your message and to your reading, obviously, or else Spirit wouldn't have left it there for me to find for you. You know what I mean? There are no accidents in the universe. I say that all the time because it's true. There's no accidents. Damn it. All right. These cards now want to come out as advice from Spirit. All right. Come on. Four of Pentacles flipped over, but it didn't come out. So, um... I don't know if it comes out again, we'll take it. I was literally doing the last read I was doing for, I don't know what sign it was, but I was like, oh, this card flipped over, but it didn't come out, so I'm not taking it. If it comes out again, I'll take it. And it literally flipped right out right after I said that. Like it, I shuffled again and it came out. And I was like, well, that was definitely the card Spirit was aiming for. All right, what is the advice in Spirit for Virgo? Holy crap. That one didn't come out. I threw it out an accident. Dropped it. There. There's your card. Alright. Advice and Spirit. Advice and Spirit is Queen of Swords. What the fucking fuck? Alright. So, let's rock and roll. Your energy. Jeez. Okay. We have Six of Wands and Judgment. Seven of Wands. Sorry. Did I say six? Um, there are no accidents. I don't know. So, um, so Seven of Wands. You are feeling defensive towards your person. I don't know why <laughs> you feel like you need to defend yourself from them. I mean, this is a twin soul reading. This is, that's what I'm doing. So it, it's a given that you're going to be triggered by your twin soul. Like, of course you are. That's what they do. It, it is their, it is their mission in life to trigger you. It is their je ne sais quoi, right? It is what they do. <laughs> they trigger you into healing, into your greatest self. That is what they do. Um, and then we have judgment. So you're in this energy of judging someone. I don't know if you're judging yourself or you're judging your person, right? There's the two cards. Um, it looks like, though, I can feel that you are going on a very self-reflective journey. You are going within you are asking yourself, why do I do these things? Why am I the way that I am? Why does this person trigger me so much? What the freaking frick, right? All right, we're going on to your person's energy. Damn. 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 All right, so we have Ten of Swords, okay? <laughs> your person did. <laughs> your person feels literally at the end of their rope. They're like, I'm done with Virgo. I'm done with the twin flame journey. I'm done. <laughs> they're done. I mean, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're literally done. They could be, I don't know. Like there there's, people are always like, oh, you, you know, there's no options other than your twin flame. Yes, there is. 
There's always high level soulmate connections. There's any type of soul connection. There's also soulmates. Soulmates are easy. Twin flames are a little bit harder. They don't have to be. If you're doing the work, they don't have to be. Everything can go smooth. The, everyone's like, oh, the twin flame journey is so hard. No, the fuck. I mean, ooh, ooh, woo, 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 woo. It doesn't have to be hard. Okay, it doesn't have to be. If you are doing the healing work, it does not have to be hard at all. If you are not doing the healing work, it is going to be tragically hard. Does your person have to wait for you? Absolutely not. Do you have to wait for them? No. Can they settle down with a high level soulmate? Yes. Can they settle down with a soulmate? Yes. Now, I'm not going to get into what a high level soulmate is. A high level soul connection because we will talk about that in a different video I'm going to I am in the process of making a twin flame class okay it's gonna run about a hundred dollars and um, I wanted to make it affordable but at the same time I have three kids to feed and I, I need to eat so um, it's been in the making since June. I'm putting a lot of effort and work into it, but we will talk about all of that. What is a twin flame? What is a activator? What is a catalyst? What is a, a soulmate? What is a high level, um, you know, soul connection? And what is a high level, um, soulmate connection? Okay. They're all different. Okay. But that's for, like I said, <laughs> that's for my twin flame class. So if you want to purchase it, it's, it's in the making right now. Um, but your person is feeling really exhausted. They feel like they're at the end of the rope. They're, they don't know what else to do. They're just, they don't know, they don't know how you feel. They don't know if you give a shit about them. Um, we have the seven of cups came out in reverse and we have the five of pentacles in reverse. So, um, this means like options okay this literally means they feel like they're out of options they're just like they don't know where to go from here <laughs> your person is literally like nah i'm done i don't know what to do fuck it <laughs> sorry i'm trying not to cuss and five of pentacles so this is feeling left out in the cold um this is a feeling of like i'm the so they're like okay i'm not gonna be left out in the cold anymore I don't need to be in this connection. Um, I have choices, right? Um, they feel like they don't have a choice to be with you. I don't know why they feel like that. Whatever it is that happens, they literally feel like you are not an option anymore. So be careful of that, Virgo. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to pretend to know what happened. I'm just reading the energy of the cards. That's all I'm doing. Don't shoot the messenger. I've never been one to sugarcoat anything ever in my reads. And it's 81888 on my on my my clock. My clock said 818, 818 p.m. And my phone is at 88%. I swear to God, you cannot make it up. I'm also a life path number eight. It's crazy. So I don't know why your person feels like that, but let's get the advice from spirit. It's Queen of Swords. So the advice from Spirit is to use your use your brain. Um, not I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying that in a negative way. Like use your brain. Like you know I'm not I'm not being a smart ass. What I'm saying is Spirit is saying to use your head. You. I mean, of course, you always want to use your heart to make decisions. But they're saying this is a time when you need to be more cerebral. You need to be logical. What is it that happened that between you and your person where they could have misconstrued the communication and where they could have assumed something that wasn't true? Okay. Does that make sense? One second. All right. So I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know why they feel like that. You'll know, though. You'll know if you turned in this reading. You turned it. You tuned in for a reason. You'll know. <laughs> you'll know what it means. It's got to be something different for all of you. All right, let's get some messages from your person. I'm gonna keep this reading moving right along. 
What does Virgo need to know? Messages from this person. That makes sense. It's making my nose run. It's making my nose run. I don't know why, but it is. All right. Oh, there's one. Let's get two cards from their person. Two messages from Virgo's person. Oh, geez. Or three, whatever. They gave us three. Okay, first card that came out is unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Well, no crap, Sherlock. That's not normally how it goes, but... So, take it out resonates. I don't know. So, this is either your energy or your person's energy. Something didn't go as planned. They wanted it to go a certain way. You wanted it to go a certain way. Um, I mean, well, this is a message from your person. Sorry, my allergies are acting up so bad. So, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So, your person had your whole life planned out. They had your wedding planned out. They had everything planned out. And something screwed it up. And now they're like, oh my God. Okay, guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Wow, so something happened between y'all. I don't know what happened, but obviously something happened. Your person is feeling guilty about something that happened. So what happened? Did they do something that you misinterpreted and turn, then you turned around and did something? And now nobody's happy. If mom ain't happy, nobody happy. All right, self love. And this is the last card that came out self love. I am still trying to heal. So your person has taken a beating and they are finding their way back to themselves. All right. Um, you know, I keep being drawn to this door. So there's going to be some new doors opening for both of you. Maybe for your person. I don't know. Um, this could represent they have one foot out the door. So I would be careful if I were you, Virgo. There's this energy of like... Once your person is fully in self-love... I, I don't know the steps that they'll take. They, I don't know if they're going to take steps towards you or away from you. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Like in my belief system, twin flames are always meant to be together. But I mean, we all have free will. I cannot predict what your person's going to do or what you're going to do. So, you know, I read the energy of the situation right now. So that's what's coming up. All right, I'm going to pull a numerology card for you and your person. I've been putting um, numbers in the title. Shut up. It was 1818 on my camera. Who is it? Who is it? Okay. Hi, Mama. Hey, Mama. could you Did open you open the door? Okay, sorry about that, Virgo. I had to take a quick break. Um, okay. Let's get a numerology card. Virgo, numerology card for Virgo, please. Compassion, 99. All right, so Spirit is asking you, Virgo, to have some compassion for yourself. Please. Um, I'm sorry, I wish the reading would have been a little bit more smooth for you, but here's the thing. I read the energy of the collective energy of those that tune in to me the most. So if you watch me, I'm picking up on your energy. This is, you know, the ones that watch me, this is collectively what's going on in your situation. The energy doesn't lie. And I'm never, ever going to lie to you or sugarcoat anything. Um, I call, I read the cards as I see them and as I know the meaning of them and as I feel the energy of them. Um, and, you know, since we got into this, these new energies and I've changed my diet and raised my vibration exponentially. Like I changed my diet again. Like I pretty much don't eat anything processed at all. And 
not only is the weight falling off of my body, but also um, my health issues are stopping and my vibration. And so my gift is very on point. I'm not saying that to be, you know, it's not an ego thing. I'm just letting you know that like, I'm, I'm reading the energy. That is what's happening. Like, all right. So we have 99 compassion. We need to learn to be kinder to ourselves. We need to learn to love ourselves no matter what. Your reading has gotten really long already. I'm trying to keep them under 15 minutes. So we're going to move on. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I do want to get make your reading a little bit longer just because, like I said, I, I skipped you guys. I feel really bad about it. And All right, let's get a soul message for Virgo, please. But the message from Spirit is saying, sorry, my chair is squeaking. We want you to be gentle and kind with yourself. You know, I'm with your person. Nobody is perfect, right? We're all ascending. And that takes work. And it's not easy to look at ourselves, honestly, and to do self-reflection. It is very hard. So, yeah, be easy on yourself, Virgo. Right why are we not getting a soul message for Virgo? Is there's nothing that is coming out? All right, maybe not. There's nothing coming out in this deck for you. Apparently, Spirit doesn't want to give you a soul message. I'm not going to force it. That's what I learned. Never force it. If it doesn't happen easily, it's not meant to happen. It gets you out of your flow. And it just isn't worth it. Never go against the flow. Always go with the flow of the water. Always. So one thing I learned in this spiritual journey is if it's not flowing, it's not for you. All right. What do we got for Virgo? Final message for Virgo from the Abraham Hicks deck. Ooh. Oh. Cards keep acting like they want to flip out, and then they don't, and then they stick, and then some of them hit the table, but I have to force them out. There's no, that one flew out, that one's yours. My life is about my relationships. You will never find yourself in a point in time when the subject of relationships is not an active part of your now experience. Four, everything you perceive or notice or know is because of your relationship with something else. Without a comparative experience, you would be unable to perceive or focus any kind of understanding within yourself. Therefore, it is accurate to say that without relationships, you could not exist at all. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't even know how to interpret that. <laughs> But basically, you know, it's true. Like, you were born because of your relationship between your parents, right? If they didn't have an, you know, extensive need to have sex, they wouldn't have created you. And, you know, you wouldn't have anything if it wasn't your relationship to, you know, yourself and to other people. And I saw a card here that was flipped over and I was trying to, I don't know where it went. This one. Um, so yeah, I mean, everyone exists because of a relationship with, with someone. So there's that. All right. Take it how it resonates. I hope something resonated for you, my beautiful Virgos. If you want to book a reading with me and you're on the fence about it, please don't. Maybe the energy will shift and your reading will be better. Um, all of my, um, information is in the description box below in the milk shape, milk shape milk shake app thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions until next time i love you bye